Aging is associated with a myriad of changes, including muscle loss, bone loss, reductions in the sense of smell and thirst, and add to that sleeping problems like insomnia, which may affect over 35% of older adults. Nicotinamide mononucleotide, better known as NMN, is a popular anti-aging supplement, and in previous videos, I have reviewed the human research and proof on NMN supplements, including its possible effects on exercise. And in keeping with this, let's look at another human study on NMN supplements. The effect of 12-week intake of nicotinamide mononucleotide on sleep quality, fatigue, and physical performance in older Japanese adults, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study. As the title of the study says, it's a randomized controlled trial, the best kind of clinical investigation, and it's pretty straightforward as well. Essentially, 108 older men and women in their 70s are split into four groups. There is a group that gets 250 milligrams of NMN in the morning up to 12 p.m. And then there's also another group that gets the same dosage of 250 milligrams in the p.m. after 6 p.m. up until bedtime. And the other two groups took a placebo in the a.m. and p.m. All totaled, everybody took six capsules a day. One thing I do like about this investigation is that the researchers excluded people if they took sleeping pills, antidepressant medications, consumed high amounts of caffeine, or took niacin or NMN supplements. Remember, NMN is derived from niacin, better known as vitamin B3. Also take notice, these researchers, in addition, excluded people who were diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, depression, alcoholism, and insomnia. Keep that in mind if you're thinking of trying NMN supplements to help you sleep better. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, what happened? Well, on questionnaires, people rated that they had better sleep and better daytime functioning compared to those that took a placebo. Those taking NMN supplements also performed better on the sit to stand test, being able to rise up from a seated position faster than those who took a placebo. There was also some evidence that people taking NMN supplements at night performed better on the sit to rise test than those who took it in the daytime, but it was not statistically significant, which to me says that the time of day that you take NMN supplements doesn't really matter. People taking these supplements also perform better on another fitness test called the timed up and go test, which measures balance and how well people can stand up and walk from a seated position, although there was no significant change in hand grip strength. So those are the major findings of this investigation. So here are the pros and cons of this study as I see it. Pros. It's a double-blind, placebo-controlled trial. That's the very best type of study to do. There was a large amount of people in this investigation, over 100. That's good. It's also good that it was a three-month-long investigation. And I also like that it contained 250 milligrams of nicotinamide mononucleotide. That's a realistic dose that you're going to see in many of the supplements that you may find online and in stores. As for the cons... The people did not keep diaries of the foods they were eating, which opens up the possibility that maybe nutrients in the foods they were eating may have contributed to some of the observable effects. Another con would be that the researchers reported the placebo takers also appeared to have some benefits in terms of their alertness, and they also appeared to perform a little better on that sit to stand test. Although I would point out the results for the placebo group were non-significant, Nonetheless, it's a weakness of the study, in my opinion. So while I can congratulate the researchers on doing human clinical studies, I still don't think NMN supplements are ready for prime time. And I suggest you hold off buying nicotinamide mononucleotide supplements until we have a better idea of what's going on and how well it lives up to its anti-aging reputation. So what do you think? Have you tried NMN supplements? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.